We don't have any light. Even if you come this side in the night, Dean Ebeke, you see that the darkness covered everywhere. There's nothing like any light showing for us to go out and come in. For our children to read in the night, we find it difficult. In order to support off-grid energy solutions, the U.S. African Development Foundation, USADF, teamed up with GE Africa to launch the Power Africa Off-Grid Energy Challenge, reaching communities not served by existing power grids. And in 2014, USAID became a partner. In three years, this $2 million initiative will award more than 20 grants of up to $100,000 each to African companies and organizations, providing off-grid solutions that deploy renewable resources to power socio-economic activities. The challenge is a part of Power Africa, the White House-led initiative to drive growth by increasing access to reliable, affordable, and sustainable power, and by helping to ensure responsible, transparent, and effective management of energy resources. Nigeria and Kenya were the first set of countries to benefit from the initiative, with three winners from each country winning the $100,000 grant last year. Ebeke community is a small community with a population of about 4,000, located in the southern part of Nigeria, with limited access to the national grid. Meet Ifani Orajaka, co-founder of GVE Projects Limited, a renewable energy integration company. Ifani is an electrical electronics engineer and one of the 2013 winners from Nigeria. We generate energy from the sun and we use it to distribute to the houses to help them power their basic electronic equipment and provide them with basic lighting because before now they were completely off the grid. They didn't have any decent uh, supply of electricity to them, so they were stuck with using either kerosene lamps or candles or some few of them who are privileged to have petrol generators. But since the project came to being, we've been able to supply about 70 houses with clean energy from this solar technology. Another winner that emerged from the 2013 competition from Kenya is Mibawa. My name is Michael Wanyonyi. I'm the CEO and founder of Mibawa. We partnered with Azuri to come up with a, a home lighting uh, system that is affordable. And the need, the, what drove us to uh, find, uh, wanting to the, the, the home lighting system is that the people in the rural area who are off grid spend so much money on paraffin and uh, and phone charging and they spend a lot of time looking for where they can charge their phone so we we, we have we came up with a system that will solve all this problem and indigo is a solution to all those and uh, it has benefited a lot of people and uh, we've uh, people the savings that they are getting from changing from paraffin uh, to indigo they are using to improve their lives. In 2014, the competition has now been extended to four other countries, Ethiopia, Tanzania, Liberia, and Ghana. And the winners from Nigeria are Top Step Nigeria Limited, Ginfed Nigeria Limited, Quintas Renewable Energy Solutions Limited, Sky Resources Technology Nigeria Limited. And the winners from Ethiopia are Ethio Resources Group, Organization for Rehabilitation and Development in Amhara, Sun Transfer Tech PLC, and the winners from Kenya are Solatech Electronics. Kenya Limited. 
Boma Safi Limited, Skode Limited, Fufi Power and Light Limited, Ketui Industries Limited, and the winners from Tanzania are Jami Power Limited, Space Engineering Company Limited, L Solution Limited, Lungali Natural Resources Company Limited, and the winners from Ghana are Kumasi Institute of Tropical Agriculture, Solar Light Company Limited.